hey lovelies if you're returning as always welcome back if you're new welcome to the family today i'm just doing a seafood boil tutorial um i've had quite a few a few people ask me how i do it it's pretty simple really but for the sake of it i'm just going to show you guys so first of all i'm going to say the most common question i have how long do you cook the fish for or the um, shellfish it depends on one the weight of it and two the type that you get so I'm not going to give you guidelines as to how long to cook it for and um, all you have to do is if you obviously know the weight and the size that you're getting or the particular type of um, shellfish it is so you know you've got different types from different parts of the world so you know there's guidelines on google everywhere as to how to cook them so i'm just going to give you the basic idea of how to season and stuff like that and then you just google quickly how to actually cook it the timing sorry cook it all right guys so basically i've just got a large pot here um of hot water I've just been boiling it and then that's all there is in there I'm gonna add to that one large onion which I've literally just cut up into sections like that so I've just halved it and then cut it into smaller sections four smaller sections and the other half is gonna go in as well by the way these are already washed and everything um, usually I just put one large lemon but I could only get the small ones so I've got two small lemons in there if you can get large ones then you can put one but by all means if you want to add more lemon that's up to you it's just to cut the rawness of the fish and basically just add a depth of flavour and then I've just got some garlic here I've just got five um, pegs, cloves, whatever you call it where you are um, if you want to add more garlic then you can do by the way I've already got a um, tutorial on how to make the seafood boil sauce so I will link it in the description below so have a look out for that because that was something else that was requested so I've got some gnaw cubes here so I've got two vegetables, two fish and two chicken. Don't worry about the fact that there's chicken stock cubes in there. It doesn't really matter, it's just to add to the flavour. I like to layer up my flavours when it comes to my seafood, so, you know. Right. So guys just drop it in anyhow, it doesn't matter the order, you could put in whichever one you feel like putting in first, second, last, whatever. At this point we're just basically trying to get the seasonings going through the water and yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm going to sprinkle in some black pepper, guys depending on the amount that you want, how spicy you want it, you just do that. Um, I've roughly put in about one and a half teaspoons of black pepper. I'm going to also be using a Duns River fish seasoning. About a teaspoon of that. I'm going to put some all pepper seasoning as well by Duns River. About a teaspoon of that. But guys, do bear in mind as well, depending on how much seafood you're doing, how big your pot is and so on, you might need more, you might need less. So I'm not really going to go too tough into, um, you know, how much of the seasons I'm putting because obviously you might not do as much as I'm doing. You might do more, you might do less. So just basically, based on what I'm doing now, I've got two lobster tails. I believe I've got three 
king crab legs and two claws and then I've got prawns as well I believe probably about 15 to 18 prawns they're about but I will count them as I'm putting them in and let you know so I'm going in now with some dried parsley any dried parsley will do from any shop it doesn't matter all the same stuff and I've got in with about two tablespoons of that and then I've got some mixed herbs dried of course uh, and we're going with about two tablespoons of that again so I'm just going to give this a stir and then once that's done I'm just going to leave it for a bit to just boil and get all those flavours going I don't know if I mentioned but with the seafood boil sauce as well I don't know what it is but literally the second day after it's made that's when it tastes its best I don't know why but every seafood boil sauce that I've tasted literally the first day it's like it's not as good as the second day so just bear that in mind when you're trying it out so guys i'm going to let this come to a boil and then i'm going to come back and show you guys once that is complete oh my gosh i wish you guys could like smell what is going on here and that's just the seasoning Okay, so let's give that a mix again, just to make, make, make sure. Right, I'm going to add in my potatoes. So I've got baby potatoes. You can use big potatoes if you want baking potatoes, whatever potatoes you like, use your potatoes, okay guys, don't let these little internet trolls try to bully you, just use your potatoes, also going to add in a sweet potato which I've already washed as you can see I'm just gonna cut it in half okay. so I'm just gonna put that in on either side also going to add in my corn on the cobs by the way everything that I'm putting in here is optional you don't have to add it or you can add more if you want it's totally up to you guys customize your seafood well how you would like it you can add sausage as well some people do that and um, personally I don't usually add sausage because I think it takes away from the main highlight which is the actual seafood so but if you want to add sausages please add sausages <laughs> I'm gonna add in some eggs these have not been boiled already they're just like normal eggs I've just washed all right guys um my camera actually decided to stop recording so I don't know what's going on there I just remember I was talking to you guys about eggs <laughs> so um like I said before I don't know exactly what I said I can't even remember got a mummy brain um yeah so i'm just gonna put in these eggs to boil make sure you put them in quite gently because obviously they will crack i'm only gonna do six of them today usually i do a lot more but not feeling so hungry today so that's all in by the way i did wash off my eggs before I put them in so make sure you wash everything I'm just going to give a gentle um, stir of the pot just to make sure that there is space in there 
and everything is evenly spread out so you know the flavors are all going right so i've got my seafood around here i don't know how much of that you can see so there you go prawns i've got lobster tails and i've got the king crab legs and claws okay um guys one thing i do have to say is make sure you've got a pot big enough to do your seafood boil if you choose to do it because if you don't obviously you're going to end up having to you know do a whole madness to do your seafood boil you probably have to spit in two or three because a standard size pot will not do all of this so sorry you need a decent size pot i'm not having hiccups at this hour of the night it's like 12 35 never mind um yeah so you need a decent size pot um one thing i will say is with your lobsters make sure that they are fully defrosted before you cook them because if you don't when you try to basically get into the lobster it will the, the flesh bit here will stick to the actual shell and it won't come out properly so just bear that in mind make sure it's fully de defrosted to check if it's fully defrosted you press into the meat as you can see there I can press into it or another way to check if you can wrap the tail right around to the top bit like that perfect that means it is fully defrosted obviously with your crabs make sure that you wash them thoroughly um please also as well check if they've been pre-cooked my ones that i ordered have been pre-cooked so i'm literally just going to keep them in the water for a short while because i obviously don't want to overcook them because then they just taste horrible um the prawns are here these ones are quite big mind you i'm a little diddy thing like so my hands aren't that huge but as you can see they're quite big so you need to give them a decent amount of time to cook okay guys so literally once that is on and it's um settled in and it's boiling and all of that good stuff i'm going to start adding in these bits now so i'm going to put in the lobster tails first so they're both defrosted i've got two of them um so i'm just going to put that in some people cut along the back of the lobster tail before they cook it i don't because i generally seem to think that you know based on what we're doing it's just not really conducive to do that so i just pop them in the pot like that and make sure you have a timer going for the different types of fish that you're using um i just do it by eye because i've got the i've got a, a clock there and i've got a time on the oven in front of me so i don't need to set timers so i just check the time there but um like i said earlier you need to check the basically weight of your um, lobsters to um check the timing for it okay so i'm just gonna go go ahead put in my shrimp as well as i put in my shrimp at the same time as my lobster if you want to do yours different then that's fine but i don't like when my um shrimp is chewy like that just it just really irks me but really you should actually put it in Ooh, sorry a few minutes after that that prawn was not trying to go in the pot today he was like uh -uh, no man I'm going to put it today. Right, so. Oh yeah, somebody asked me um, what what the difference is between grey prawns and red prawns. There's no difference, they're the same thing. It's just that the grey ones just means that they're raw. The red ones just means that they've been cooked. They've been pre-cooked before packaged and put on the shelf or wherever you picked it up from okay so that's that's it there's no um they're not like a different species of prawns or anything <laughs> that's just what they look like before they're cooked they're gray in color nice gray 
right and so i'm going to leave this for about 10 minutes then once that 10 minutes is gone i'm going to go back check on them and then add in my crab but like i said as you can see here the crab oh the crab has already been cooked so all i'm literally doing is heating it up in the water okay so ooh, this is one of the legs as you can see i'm trying to bend it so y'all can see it in there there you go that's one of the king crab legs so yeah i'm just gonna put this and then i'll be back Like I say, it's been oh, 18 minutes now. Um, I left it for a bit longer because um, I could see that they needed more time to cook. So I'm just going to give you an update. So that's what the prawns are looking like. And lobster tail. Just and then I'm just going to add in the crab legs now for five minutes just to make sure that they cook through. Once everything is done, I'm going to take out the lobster tails and I'm going to put them in a cold bath. So that's basically just ice water and that is to stop the cooking process. So you just put it in the ice cold water and stop the cooking process then you take it out and you serve it as normal. So you don't need to keep it in there for the remainder of the time. You literally just want to stop the cooking process. So I'm just going to add in the crab legs now, as I said, and the claws. Oh, what is going on with you? Fish is today. Are they trying to kill me up in this kitchen? This pot just smells so beautiful. Guys, they're broken up. Um, I was notified by the company I bought them from. and They did offer me the opportunity to get um, full length ones. But I said, you know what? There's no point. Because um, I'm just going to basically break it up when I do seafood. Well, anyway, so just send it normal. But just so that you guys know, they were really, really nice. Um, very kind and I got all of the seafood from Nottingham Seafood so they're on Instagram go and check them out that's where I found them and then um, I messaged through to them they directed me to the website or you can call in and make your order and um, so I basically went on the website put in my order and then they delivered it right to my door okay so um, I don't know you know how many of you know but i've actually moved up north so um i'm not um local to billingsgate or any you know any of the other fisheries that i usually go to so i've actually ordered from nottingham seafoods for the first time and so far so good i've had no problems they're very nice and um, very genuine and they um you know are quite courteous at that they called me to let me know that um obviously some of the bits were broken and everything like that so i was well aware when it came that it would be that that so yeah guys fantastic service no problems so i'm just gonna cover this down leave it for five minutes and then i will come back and i'm going to take out the lobster tails put them in the cold bath and then i will definitely Take out the rest, assemble it on the tray, and that's that. Okay, love, so everything is about done now. As you can see, I'm just going to take them out of the pot. Um, obviously, strip my eggs after leaving them in cold water for a bit. Um, and just basically put them in my tray that I'm going to eat from. And then I will show you guys... The end result so i'm just gonna turn off the stove now so i had two burners on because this pot is just massive like it literally takes up the whole stove i don't know if you guys can see it properly but basically that's like two burners across 
don't know how well you can see that. But there. So there's one banner there, one round there. It is massive. Like, that's my arm. It's basically the length of there. So, yeah, so I'm just going to pick this up and then I'll show you. Remember to put your lobster tails to cool off in a cold bath, okay? So that's just a bowl with ice and water. Alright, so this is the end result once everything has been drained off and put in a tray. So I've put it in a um, Pyrex dish, um, baking tray or whatever you call it. Um, so that's everything that's in there. It's just been layered in, all the eggs, everything. So that's that, guys. Oh, my gosh. So that's how I do my seafood boil. Obviously, if you want to substitute something that's in there, that's up to you. Um, if not, then perfect. And all I can say is enjoy because I definitely will. This is smelling like... Listen, I'm not going there. I'm going to eat my food. <laughs> see you guys on the next one don't forget to like share this video subscribe to my channel and um, as always um, if you guys want to find me on social media if you want to ask any questions and um, if not if you want to just leave them in the comments I do reply as quickly as I possibly can um, bearing in mind obviously I'm a mother a whole wife and you know businesswoman so do bear that in mind guys so if I don't answer you straight away then obviously I'm busy doing something but for the most part I do answer say within the hour to three hours but yeah there you are enjoy